Greetings, Sassy Nation. Xaviera here with another video. What's the move, Sassy Nation? I am here filming at one of my son's, um, Alex's training locations. His track team does heels at this beautiful lake in, I think I'm in Covington, Georgia. I don't know where I'm at, th at this point. Um, but it's a beautiful lake called Varner, B-A-R-N-E-R. -E if you're local to Atlanta or the um, Atlanta area, it is a beautiful lake. There are families here fishing. There are people on the lake. And it is just a very relaxing um, scenery. So I thought this would be a good time for a story time video. And I'm going to talk about <laughs> my YouTube journey. Uh, I think I uploaded my first YouTube video maybe five years ago. This would be easy to fact check because I think it's probably still up. Um, I did try to delete some of the videos that were not uh, as professional as I would have liked them to be. And when I started YouTube, uh, Scrap Diva 29 was just getting started. Scrap the World was kind of just getting started. Or she was maybe a little bit more established than Scrap Diva 29. That was Nurse, T Nurse Terra 05 or something like that. Cooper's Coop. Uh, Irene was popular. Like I, you can tell, I, I did a lot of crafting. So I was a scrapbooker. I was a card maker. So I kind of followed those types of uh, YouTubers. And so, yeah. So Scrap, I, I can remember when Scrap Diva 29 was like, a um, hundred a hundred um, subscribers and then she then they did the fiasco with uh, taking down people's videos for um, using the what wish app or Ali Aliexpress dies I mean it was a whole it was a whole soap opera y'all <laughs> so yeah so some of the ladies that were uh you know really establishing that youtube channel youtube snatched their channel and then they were able to get it back and yeah it was a whole it was a whole thing so yes yeah, so i remember yeah so i kind of started in that ram i was like i can do this you know and i didn't know if i want to do like vlog family vlogs you know with my kids but um you know, one of my biggest constraints was I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the editing process. I didn't have a MacBook. I'm not a Mac user. Um, so I, the, edit, the editing really intimidated me. And this year I really committed to um, learning how to edit, even if it's just basic edits. Like you saw in my last video, I was so proud of those edits. Y'all just don't know. But yeah, so, um, but I knew I wanted to do it. And back then you didn't have those crazy um, requirements from YouTube to become monetized like now you have to have what 10,000 subscribers and like 4,000 watch hours which is really hard for an organically a grown youtuber to um, hit but you could do it you know we're gonna do it this year watch watch assassination we're gonna grow this channel but I wanted to talk about um, five give share five tips that I'm gonna commit to to help me to grow the channel and maybe to help you too uh because yeah if you if you're organic organically growing your youtube channel you got to put in work it takes work the subscribers just don't come people aren't just watching your videos for no reason yeah you got to put something out there that people want to see so tip number one i would say is um go ahead and create your content list or your schedule, your content, what you're going to create for the month. So do it a month in advance. So, so ideally, I should have created my list for the month of January and December. So I will commit to having my February's content um, titles and information by January 31st. So I'll be ready to roll it out February. I won't have to think about it. I won't have to say what what video needs to be made i already had a list i just created and uploaded and edit that helps to keep you organized it takes away some of the stress and pressure so yeah so tip number two create a youtube upload calendar a schedule 
a schedule. If you're going to commit to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, commit to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Do not let your subscribers down because some subscribers just hit that bell and they receive notification as soon as your video uploads. And some people don't look at TV. Like I hardly look, watch TV. I watch YouTube. Um, one, because it's entertaining. Two, because it's you learn. And three, because it's free. Yeah, so I, I mean, yeah. So don't let your subscribers down. If you're going to commit to Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, commit to Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. If you're going to commit to Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, commit to Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday. Do not let your subscribers down because if you don't, if you get in the habit of not um, sticking to the schedule, they lose interest in your channel and eventually they will unsubscribe and you do not want that. So yeah, commit to a upload to an upload schedule. Tip number three would be learn about analytics. Analytics, YouTube analytics is very important. Um, you need to know what happens once your chat, once your video is uploaded, how long people are engaged in your video, um, in in what point do they stop being engaged. And then you can know how to plan and create a more engaging content because you don't want to keep creating content that people are not watching. So the analytics is very important. It tells you uh, where people are watching from, what countries, how long they're watching, how did they get to your channel, were they recommended, was your video recommended, did they find it organically? All that information is helpful to a YouTuber and it helps you to plan better videos. So that's tip number three. Know your analytics. Tip number four. Oh, that was a beautiful bird. I don't know if y'all saw it. Oh my God, that was a beautiful blue bird. Can y'all see the birds? I mean, this is so relaxing to me. Um, tip number four is equipment. Um, I currently film on my Samsung Galaxy S20. It is one of those phones that has like the three camera views. It is very um, high tech. The quality of the videos are, are, are a massive improvement from what I was filming on. So yeah, so if you don't have a good camera phone, then I recommend you get a good, uh, just regular camera that that you know how to work the video settings. Um, you don't want to put out video that's grainy. You do not want to film in vertical. You want to film horizontally. People will not watch. Subscribers do not like videos that are filmed vertically. They have that black outline on them. They will just cut off. They won't watch it. If they see it has that black line and you film vertically, they just won't watch it. I don't know what it is about that, but... Um, yeah, so make sure you're, you know, have a good understanding of how to film, what you're using to film, and try to make your quality, your video quality as um, good as you can. Some people use microphones. I don't have a microphone. Um, maybe that's something I might need to invest in. Uh, yeah, my sister says you say um too much. And I tell her, like, it's really hard because you're really pretty much talking to yourself. You can imagine that you're talking to a good friend, but you're really just talking to yourself. So you may need to use those fillers like, um, but I'm trying to really stop doing that. Yeah, so have you a critique partner who can look at your videos once you upload it to give you a good critique so that you'll know um, what you can expect because people will comment. Everybody's not nice. Everybody's not a subscriber. Everybody's not a supporter. People get mean and, you know, tear your videos up in a, in a comment section. So, yeah, I mean, you know, just get your good partner that can, that will tell you honestly what your video was like. If it was garbage, tell me it was garbage and I'll take it down and redo it again. So, yeah, the quality of your videos are important. And tip number five, commit commit i have committed to doing all i can this year to become monetized that is my goal that is my intention that is my plan i just need to execute and i think if i follow all of the tips that i shared the five tips and i do have more um that i will share later on i think i am on my way 
to definitely reaching the 10,000 subscribers. Um, don't become intimidated by YouTube. There's enough um, AdSense money out here for all of us. So, if you want it, commit to it. I don't know what I got choked on, but it's okay. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this view. I hope you enjoyed my five tips. Um, I hope my content was a little bit better today. And just know that I am trying to grow each and every video. So, until next time, friends. Toodaloo.